It's nice to see you. We missed you. We really did. Hey, listen. Hey, are you guys, are you guys sick of Trump news? Yeah! Me too. <laughs> so tonight we are going to talk about someone way smarter than Donald Trump. <laughs> And when I say someone, I'm talking about a bear that paints. <laughs> no, really, seriously, this is a true story. An art gallery in Finland recently put on an exhibition of paintings created by a brown bear named Juso, right? <laughs> the, exhibition, the exhibition sold 15 of the bear's paintings, raising $8,500. 15 paintings. That's 14 more paintings than Van Gogh sold in his entire <laughs> lifetime. But get this, the bear isn't even a full-time artist. In the mornings, he works as a barista. <laughs> Thank you. All my own work. Hey, yeah, look, we've got one of the paintings here. Take a look. Take a look at the painting, right? Look at this. There it is, right? Look at that. Would you pay $8,500 for that, sir? Would you do that? No. Right, well, you'd be silly, because that's actually a Jackson Pollock worth $200 million. <laughs> so... You're a fool. Here are... <laughs> We've got some of the bear's actual paintings. Have a look at this. Here's one. Uh, the title of this one is uh, Juso Wants Salmon. Uh, <laughs> here's another one here. This one's called Juso Wants Salmon. <laughs> here's another. This one's titled Meditations on Mortality. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's called Juso Wants Salmon. <laughs> uh, in other news, this was weird. Did you guys see this? A gourmet restaurant in San Francisco is now offering a signature dish that is served on an iPad. Yeah. Or, or as it will be reported next week, restaurant in San Francisco is suddenly missing all of its plates. Um, <laughs> I can't get my head around this. iPads as plates. I feel like if there's one thing we've learned over the years, it's how clean our iPad screens are. <laughs> I mean, why not just use a toilet seat? <laughs> like, or serve soup in a bowling shoe. <laughs> not all of the entrees at this restaurant come out on an iPad. For example, when you order the fajitas, they come out on a sizzling Galaxy Note 7. <laughs> finally tonight... Uh, finally tonight, scientists may have figured out a new way to relieve stress in the workplace. According to a recent article, some researchers believe that you can relieve tension and increase productivity at the office by taking masturbation breaks. <laughs> but, yeah, some scientists say masturbating at work can relieve stress, while other scientists say, wait, what are you guys doing? This is a cancer research lab. <laughs> Uh, but there are some, but there are some concerns, and this is real. Experts warn that workplace masturbation breaks should never be focused on fantasizing about a specific colleague. 